Hey everybody, welcome to Tracing Masterpieces. In this video we'll be using a projector for our artwork. We'll be projecting an image onto a piece of paper and then tracing over it. I'll show you the entire process, but first we gotta set everything up. So let's get started. Okay, so we have everything set up now. As you can see, we have this drawing board with these armature arms attached to it, allowing us to mount a camera and also a projector. Now, in this case, it's kind of complicated. It doesn't need to be this complica complicated, but I'm only doing this because I have to record everything. If you're doing it on your own, you could just use like, a tripod or anything that you have that you can mount your projector to. And if you're interested in getting a projector, I've created a video that goes over what you need to look for uh, when you get one so that you know what types of specifications it has to have and that sort of thing and I'll put a link in the description below okay so we have it projecting the image onto our piece of paper and I could tape the piece of paper down but I'm not going to I just marked the corners of the projected image on the piece of paper so that if anything moves we could readjust it we could shift things so that it uh, matches up again. As you can see the window is open and I can see the image clearly. All we got to do now is just trace the image. And by doing that you just go over the general shapes around the contours of them, you know the sides, and basically you look for where there's a contrast of detail. So right here you can see there's a window and then we're drawing these chairs and at the edge it creates this contrast of dark and light and basically you just draw a line where that contrast is or where any basically any detail that you could see but we focus on the general shapes first we don't do the more smaller finer details yet because those kind of rely on the larger shapes where the larger shapes are placed And as you are tracing, you could use your hand to cover up the light and see what you've drawn. Like, I'm covering it up and you could see that I've drawn those details so far. Okay? I'm using a pencil to do this. And afterwards, we could go back in with ink and ink it. And maybe I'll save that for a second video. But as you can see, the process is very simple. You don't need any tracing paper. You just project the image and start tracing. And this works for any surface. You could do it on a canvas. You could do it on a wall. You could do it basically anywhere that that uh, you can project the light. Right here I'm doing the arm of the chair. Now I'm doing some details on the back of the chair just to get those in place relative to everything else maybe some of the folds you could just or the wrinkles you could draw a couple lines there or where the shadow the edge of the shadow where the chair kinda bends right here as well the shadow and light creates this contrast makes the detail pop out okay so now I'm gonna check what I've traced by covering up the light and I can look at it and see what's missing or what's what's been drawn what hasn't been drawn by going back over the light 
showing it and revealing it like that, as you can see. I noticed that I forgot some details here. There's a seam in the chair with the, some wrinkles and maybe some shadowing, the edge of the shadow around the arm. Maybe some more wrinkles down here in the fabric. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Now it's okay if you miss some details because once you have a general idea of where everything is, you could uh, uh, figure out where everything is when you're looking at it later without the projector. Okay. So let's move on to this. Uh, what do you call this? <laughs> I know there's a name for it. It's not a stool, I don't think. Just go over the edge of the shadow here. Some of the wrinkles as the fabric wraps around the edge. Some of these buttons. Okay. Let's get this. The legs drawn in it may not be the most complicated thing to draw I chose this because it will allow me to trace it all in a video that isn't too lengthy the point of this video is just to give a demonstration as to how to trace using a projector for your art and show how simple the process is now the more detail you add I guess the easier it becomes later on to continue the work you're not going to complete the entire image while projecting the image you just project it for whatever details you want to trace and that will help you later on when you're creating the artwork so right now we basically have everything traced. As you can see that was very simple. Didn't require any tracing paper or anything like that. Maybe we could create some lines in the floor, make it look like it's on on something and not just floating. So I'll draw some of these uh, floorboards in the floor. It kind of gives might add a bit of perspective okay you can pick and choose which details you want to add or keep or remove you don't have to draw everything just draw whatever helps your art your artwork whatever you're trying to convey that's kind of something that you do with art you kind of pick and choose what looks good and keep those and remove stuff that doesn't really help the image or that sort of thing and in the end you get kind of a, a better looking piece of art that way so let's take a look see how that looks okay so that's kind of interesting isn't it So yeah, look, oh no, I'm, I shifted the page. What am I going to do? Well, based on the stuff that you've drawn already, you could just kind of reposition it. You know, find where everything, you know, falls in place with all the details that you've drawn. There you go. It's back in the spot where it was before. So there you have it. Using a projector for your art is very simple. In the next video, I'll use... What I've traced, I'll use this drawing and I'll go back over it with ink and start inking in more detail. And I'll show you that process as well. So stay tuned for that.
hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. These things will help convince YouTube to push this channel. If you'd like to support us in other ways, you can make a donation at our Patreon page by going to tracymasterpieces.com slash support for more information. I'd like to thank This Is Abusive for the $20 contribution. I'd also like to thank Zarknark for their $10 contributions. And I'd also like to thank my $5 contributors as well. And lastly, if you'd like to join our Discord server, you can go to tracymasterpieces.com slash discord.